A disturbing incident downriver as police reminding everyone what to look for when you're pulled over. Someone pretending to be an officer tried to execute a traffic stop, but as Larry Spuel reports, the woman he targeted was too smart for that. Police say it happened here at this intersection of Sibley Road and Inkster Road. They say he targeted that woman right here in this intersection, attempting to pull her over. I spoke with women here in this area. They tell me they are now taking safety in their own hands. It had sat there and I kept telling my grandmother that it looked, it didn't look like a cop. And Gary Chaffins was right. He was not a cop. That's why Brownstown Township Police are warning people in their area about a man going around acting like an officer. Police say a man was riding around in a dark color SUV over the weekend with red and blue lights on the rear view mirror and a spotlight near the driver's side. He was just sitting. He didn't move. He didn't go nowhere. When I came home, he was gone, though. But police say he did attempt to pull over one woman near the intersection of Inkster Road and Sibley Road, but drove off when the woman called 911 during the fake traffic stop. He could have pulled you over. He could have, yeah, easily. And that's why Tierra Henderson says she's taking her safety into her own hands. And I made sure that I was staying precaution and kept a gun nearby. Now here are some tips. If you are not sure about someone pulling you over, just pull into a lighted area and call 911 to verify the officer. Also remember a genuine officer will be in full uniform when conducting a traffic stop. And police did release some description of the suspect. They say he is a white male in his early 30s. And he has some lightly hair on his facial chin as well. He also had on a blue jacket and blue cap with police on it, and he was wearing dark blue jeans. We have that full description on our website. Click on Detroit.com. We are live tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. Hopefully they'll track him down. Thanks, Larry.